project aim was to create a safer vehicle initiative and um, implemented the use of the vice which we have here today and um, which when um, it submerged in a large body of water um, and a waterproof electrical system will allow the windows to go down and then save the occupants which are inside the vehicle. When doing research we realised 400 fatalities in North America alone. So basically here we have a simple circuit really. So we have various components. So we have our sensor, uh, a relay, a switch and a diode and the circuit is obviously connected to the motor of the window and when the sensor is submerged in the water the window will automatically come down. I made a reactor in my bedroom that turns biomass into oil. We need renewable fuels and we need them to be carbon neutral so they're not uh, damaging to the atmosphere and the fuel that is produced in this process is carbon neutral. It is beneficial to the uh, environment. This reactor raises the temperature and pressure of water to 350 degrees Celsius and 300 bar. At this point it becomes catalytic and it breaks down the biomass, which in this case is algae, um, all the carbohydrates, the proteins, all of the biomolecules straight into oil and it takes about 40 minutes. It has great potential. So our project it aims to um, solve the problem of growth learning for students all around the country. But the burden of growth learning is um, causing a lot of stress among students and we hope to solve this due to our, with our new Alexa skill that will match and convert text into music. Yeah, so it's supposed to improve memory retention up to 22% and we conducted a survey and found that most students actually like this method compared to conventional study methods. Okay, so we have our own webpage that we created and the student puts their lesson onto the webpage and then we ask Alexa and Alexa plays the lesson back. So what we wanted to do was raise awareness about different mental health issues with different teenagers today. So we did surveys to figure out you know, what kind of issues people are struggling with. A lot of people, they say that they are struggling with mental health issues. It kind of showed that a lot of people feel that school was their main kind of cause of stress. When we interviewed the teachers, they thought that it was kind of social media and phones the students themselves didn't actually agree with that. I think that there needs to be more of like a connection between students and teachers. So that like the teachers know to tell the students about different resources available to them so that students know when and where they can get help.